Hello, hello, my name is Brittany D. I'm a psychic medium and spiritual teacher. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe, especially if this resonates with you. It's really, really, really super helpful for us YouTube creators. Please comment that below. Oftentimes, people will message me or reach out to me personally, and I'm so grateful to hear from you, but it's so, so, so helpful if you would drop that in the comments and like and share with others. So, Please keep that in mind. Um, this is a collective reading. It is going to be from December 15th to the 22nd. So we're creeping up on Christmas. This is a collective overall reading. So of course, if you're interested in, you know, diving into this or doing a more personal reading for you, please click the link or the yeah link in the description below to book a private reading. Um, so let's see here. It's going to be a collective overall message. Whatever is in the highest and best spirit for the collective overall. Mm, looking deeper. Deep within me is a majestic radiance. Interesting. I'm getting this like uncovering energy. Something is being uncovered, something is being seen, and that is propelling something forward. This feels family related, it feels generational related. We are in the holiday season, so that just tends to be what happens this time we hear naturally and organically, but it feels very generational, family related. Something is being revealed. It's like something that you have either been needing to hear or needing to know, some type of gem. It like comes up and out into the open. Okay, these three cards came out like this, back to back to back. So let's see here. Following your bliss, my soul sings with joy. I'm getting a big liberation energy coming from this. Really feeling liberated from whatever this gem is. That clarity, seeing that clearly is liberating your soul letting go i surrender joylessly to the ebbing and flowing of life this is like really i'm almost getting a sense of forgiveness letting go of the past just letting go you're freed you're liberated now of course coming into power i step into my power boldly and confidently yeah, you've liberated yourself, something, some truth that emerged, something that came from deeper within um, was emerged and you freed yourself. It's like you're dancing in the freedom and it's, it's creating this like Phoenix rising, coming into power. Forgiveness is powerful, guys. Forgiveness is like setting yourself free, honestly. And that's big energy that I'm getting here. I know that, you know, generational stuff always comes up around the holidays, even if you don't see your family. It just, just tis the season. Um, but we are getting big energy around that this week, you know, and we're, and it's, and it's like in this really beautiful way, we're really liberating. It's not like bringing us down. It's like, we're just, um, rising in our power from this, this clarity and from what has been revealed protection you and your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven i'm honestly getting that this card is like more about you don't need to protect your heart right now like spirits got your back spirits like you your loved ones everything is safe and protected by heaven you don't need to be the protector or the guarder right now you are your role right now is to be open to rise into your power to you know allow your heart to be healed allow yourself to forgive don't rush into action right now buy your time for better results so even even with this newfound clarity you may be like oh maybe i should take this action or maybe i should do this thing or you know this clarity is creating a lot of momentum it's creating a lot of power but that doesn't mean that you necessarily need to take action that's what spirit's trying to say with this card all right we got these two cards as well as one that flew on the floor music for manifesting to manifest rapidly think of your desires while you chant hum sing or play music manifesting interesting i feel like this don't 
this wait card, don't rush into action, is because you're creating something. And then that makes sense. You got these two cards, which is synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase your flow. It's like you need more intel from the universe. That's why they're like, wait, wait, we're manifesting here. Um, we're trying to show you the signs and the synchronicities. And then we got you're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see the results yet. There's something that this is creating, this new liberation, this new clarity, um, that you're manifesting and creating something with spirit. But it's not, don't jump fast to take action. Allow things to fall into place. Um because there's there's still some more moving parts that spirit's trying to like kind of make happen um so don't jump emotional withdrawal interesting i'm getting this like time time to yourself here i think you need to process all of this that's why you don't need to take action you need to just be with spirit i'm really getting this as a deep spiritual experience this forgiveness which forgiveness can be profound when it's true forgiveness true forgiveness is soul shaking balance so keep yourself steady keep yourself balanced take time for yourself this is a time with you in spirit you don't need to be taking a lot of action right now you need more introspective time you need time to process you need time to be with yourself let spirit work through you you know, it's like it's not Brittany's agenda kind of a time. It's time for me to just sit back. And if any actions are taking place, it's kind of just coming through me and out of me. It's not really my agenda. Solar plexus chakra. So what I'm getting, solar plexus chakra means a lot of things. But what I'm getting for this is that the solar plexus chakra can very easily become dirtied with other people's wants and needs. And so I feel like that is why you need to withdraw, why you need to remain in um, like a more balanced state and like keeping things kind of in check and remembering, you know, that even with this newfound truth, even with this rising into power and like you're really like rising and coming above, this forgiveness is cracking you open. Um, I am not going to... That's almost like what you're learning through this forgiveness is I'm not going to cater to everyone else's wants and needs. I'm going to actually take care of my wants and needs. And, you know, that that's likely going to mean stepping back and getting yourself in balance and know that things are manifesting. You're being helped. The synchronistic events are confirming things. Um, it's just time for you to step back and to kind of digest and process this profound um, experience that came um you know, from you forgiving and letting go and seeing this clarity and coming into your bliss and into your power. So I hope this was helpful for you. So much love to you. I release these. I drop these every Friday. So feel free to drop back in next week. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share with someone that it may be helpful for. So much love to you. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your week. Namaste.